Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a range test with the Spark in a city environment. Now, if she could speak to me, she'd probably be very unhappy at the moment and complaining bitterly. Because on my right hand side, there are many shopping malls and very large office blocks. And on the left hand side, there are many, many apartment tower blocks. There are power lines everywhere and literally hundreds and hundreds of transmitters and receivers. Added to that, there are a bank of trees in front of me and a bank of trees to my right. My apartment block is immediately to my left. So this is not the most friendly place to fly my drone. My flight path is going to be down the middle of all this over a cemetery. So that means that if anything does go wrong, then she's not going to fall and injure someone or damage any property. I think she'll probably do about 220, 250 meters. But let's get outside and see how she gets on. Okay guys, so now we're outside in our location. Everything is set up, so let's get the drone in the air, take a look around and get on with the test. I'll see you back inside. Okay, now we're back inside. Um, I'm a little surprised and my little spark has impressed me yet again. I suspected she might do 250, but to have gone past 350 is exceptional in the environment that she was in. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who likes to fly drones as far as they can possibly go. Um, in fact, the most I've ever needed to fly the Spark is around just over 500 meters. And I'll cover the reasons why I don't need to fly very far in, in a future video. 
I think today um, has made me very happy because I know that she can cope um, and cover the distances that I need her to go in a city environment. In fact, that's what I really love about the Spark. It does tend to go beyond what you think that it's going to go. So she's done very, very well today. And I think as a reward, I'm going to take her out tomorrow to a friendlier environment where she doesn't have to worry so much about interference and can get on with her main job of creating videos for me to enjoy later. Well, okay, um, that's it for me. Um, if you liked the video, then please give us a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because we're going to be uploading a lot of material over the coming months aimed at beginners and inexperienced pilots. So, as I say, that's it for me for this video. Stay happy and keep flying.